Hi there, welcome to my views and news. No live chats uh, on uh, Wednesday and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday because of uh, unpredictable internet speed here, internet connection uh, gets disconnected. But I'll be in touch with you. Uh, I will continue doing videos so that we stay in touch. But we'll resume live chats after two days. Uh, breaking news for you from the Amhari. I've been working on that for several hours. Uh, it seems that Fano groups have split into two now after uh, several Fano groups uh, chose a leader today. Who is this leader? Skandar Naga, people know that, I think. Uh, who chose Skandar Naga? Who is opposing the election of Skandar Naga? Why Skandar Naga? Why was he chosen? I mean, uh, Fano so far is uh, in its operational phase. It is conducting operations, combat operations. Skandar is not uh, competent to lead combat operations. Janel joined Fano a few days ago. Why is that general not leading Vano? Why Skandar? We'll try to find answer these questions in this video. Second story from Kenya where again protests ongoing for around a month now. Today police fired tear gas. At least one protester was killed today. Now protesters want resignation of William Ruto, the Kenyan president. Firstly viewers, uh, the main problem for Fano since the start of its struggle last year has been the formation of a central structure and the election of one leader to lead this Amhara resistance movement. Fano groups were small last year. They got bigger with Amhara special force members joining them. New Fano commanders emerged. Uh, Fano groups started organizing themselves on Vareda level, then on zonal level. And they managed to organize themselves in two zones of the Amhara region, in Gojam and in Volo. They formed zonal level central structures. In Gondar and Shoa, they were on their way to form zonal level structures, but they could not form a single central structure. They could not elect a single leader to lead the entire Fano resistance movement. Then Janel joined Taframamu uh, more than a week ago, joined Fano, former Amhara Special Force Chief, followed by Tazra Negose, another Janel of Amhara Special Force. And the Janel Taframamu joined Shoa Fano. Skandar Naga last year joined Fano. And by the way, he joined Fano when Fano was just uh, fighting for survival. That was a difficult time for Fano, by the way. He was the first main leader to join Fano. Zamina Kasi was in prison. There were, there were no big names uh, in Fano. He was not a fighter, he was a politician, he was in the US, he went to US after his release from prison. In the US he was told to, that he should not return to Ethiopia. He returned, he risked his life, he joined Fano uh, in Goja. He took over Zamin Akasi's group, Zamin Akasi was in prison, he was released by the government intentionally to create a, uh, to create a conflict between Zamin Akasi and Skandar. Zamin Akasi reclaimed his group. Skandar was left without any fighters. He moved to Volo, then Shoa. And then in Shoa, he tried to gain a foothold. He uh, formed a new Fano group there. Today, Fano groups, several Fano groups chose Skandar as their leader. It is being said that uh, Skandar was voted uh, to be to lead the Fano struggle. 
uh, names of some former commanders are being mentioned who voted in support of Skandar, people like Masrisha from Gojum. Uh, I think uh, names of some Gondar Fano commanders are being mentioned too. Uh, and then uh, I think Hapte Walde too. From Walla, we're hearing the name of Colonel, Colonel Fantahun. From Shoa too, I think uh, people like Makatao, backed Skandar's uh, election reported. So, while Skandar has been chosen to lead the Fano struggle, we are seeing a statement from one Fano group opposing Skandar as the leader. So that is what I am saying, Fano has split today. The statement came definitely from Zemin Akasi group because Zemin Akasi pushed Skandar out of uh, Gujum. Zemin Akasi group is a strong group in Gujum. Zemin Akasi, Asras Mare, Dante, others, they have managed to form a strong Fano group in Gujum. They rejected Skandar as the leader of Fano groups. They said in the statement, they will continue the struggle. They do not recognize Skandar as a leader. So now when Skandar has been chosen, it means it is an uphill task for him to bring all Fano groups under one command. Some are openly opposing him refusing to recognize him as the leader. It seems that all that happened after Tafra Mamu joined Fano. Question is why is that uh, Skandar was chosen as the leader of Fano? Why not Tafra Mamu who has immense experience of uh, fighting, of combat experience? Can we say that these Fano groups are going to start talks with the government? Skandar perhaps is the best option for them to lead in talks. He is a politician, a learned man. He cannot lead Fano groups on the battlefield. Perhaps Skandar has been chosen as the leader, political leader of Fano. He won't lead operations in the field. In the field, maybe Tafara, others will lead operation. But when it comes to negotiations with government, with when it comes to communication with foreigners, with embassies, etc., he will lead Fano. That's my analysis. I'm not saying that I got this information from the inside. That's my analysis. I think Skander will lead political wing now. Fano needs a political representative. Government wants to talk, foreigners want to talk. Uh, so there should be one man who should lead the Fano groups. Having said, can we say that uh, Skandar will be the main player in Fano? No. I think Skandar will lead the organization uh, for some particular tasks, real powers will be held by those who are fighting on the ground. Fano commanders, real powers are held by them, not by Skandar. Skandar will consult, he will coordinate, he will talk to Fano commanders and then he will share this Fano's position, different positions on issues with government, with mediators, with outsiders. That is what my analysis is. Let us see what happens now. Can Skandar manage to unite Fano? Can, uh, will all Fano groups uh, come under uh, Skandar's uh, control? Will they recognize him as a leader? We will see in coming hours. So far, Gujam Fano has refused to accept Skandar as their representative. Secondly, it was Kenya, where protests uh, continue unabated. They, the protesters want now resignation of William Ruto, the Kenyan president. The, the protests erupted over a new law about taxation. The law was approved by the parliament. Ruto, after protests, refused to sign the law. He revoked the law still. 
protests continued. Protesters uh, accused the government of being inefficient. Ruto fired his entire cabinet. Protests continued. Protesters wanted accountability because dozens of people died in the use of force by police in these protests. Ruto fired police chief. Then yesterday, William Ruto accused US-based Ford Foundation of igniting, fueling the protests. Protesters now want Ruto to step down. Today, uh, again, a protests were held in Nairobi. In at least 20 counties, a protests were held. Police today fired tear gas. They tried to disrupt uh, they, they tried to disperse protesters in Nairobi. At least one protester was killed. Uh, Ruto will not go, obviously. He won't uh, step down. Uh, I think now security forces will be forced to use force against these protesters in Kenya. But hard times ahead, it seems, for Ruto. He is losing ground, he is getting weak, but still he is talking to protesters. He is listening to them, but protesters want more. They want him to go. Let's see what happens. Thank you for watching.